What's going on you guys, DZ Rocks here back with another drop of knowledge. This time I'm gonna talk about opposites, accenting opposites. If you're new here, consider subscribing for plenty more content just like this, drop of knowledge, how to, musicality Mondays, and plenty more tools to help you grow as a dancer on any level and have fun with your boy along the way. With that said, run that intro, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this is a fun one, because uh, this is really important for dance, and this is just uh, just really all, overall important for movement and just kind of understanding how things work and how things go together. So to start with understanding uh, opposites, tracking opposites, and opposites complementing opposites, the first initial thing that we think about would be color. And if you, the term where that comes into play with colors opposites accenting opposites is they are on opposite sides of the color wheel or the color spectrum so when you look around and for example red and green are do on two completely different sides of the color wheel but they are exact opposites of each other so they complement each other when they go together and that example would be christmas everything is red and green because they complement each other very well they're complete opposites but that complement of putting them together always looks good on any scale with more red and a little green or a lot of green and a little red. Either one looks good. So when you're taking that concept and applying it to dance, you want to think about the types of movement that you're doing and what would be the complete opposite of that and how can you use that complete opposite to complement your dancing. So if you, it's just like if you think about dancing, you know, we think about moving and being here, but then the complete opposite the, on, the, on the dancing wheel will say what that would be. I've been doing this too long, but <laughs> the opposite would be no movement. And then go back to the other side and then switch back. Boom. So when you're thinking about dance, your broadest spectrum, your umbrella for the most part would be movement and no movement. Those two together very much complement each other and that's what becomes dance. And you want to think about that on each layer of dance. So when you're thinking about um, being this really strong, boom, 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 then you can use the opposite side of the spectrum and boom, boom, up, uh, up. Uh 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 and be really soft you can be hard or soft you can be rough or smooth you can stop you can go you can have no movement you can have movement um, there's so many different ways to think about dance and how to use its opposite to complement what it is that you're doing to practice using both sides of the spectrum for what it is that you're doing without contrast um, without these opposites there really isn't any depth um, because you kind of need both to really uh, tell a full story. You just want to think of that opposite and try to work towards uh, using it to complement what you're doing. So just like if you're, uh, if you're crumping or anything like that and you're really wilding out, then the opposite of that would be to be really chill and really controlled. And using both Using both is going to help you have different dimensions. So yeah, just try to figure out what, you know, what are you doing and what its opposite is and how you can use it to complement uh, the movement that you're doing. Um, yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comments. I will try to get right to them. Uh, let me know how you guys are doing with it. Let me know what you guys want the next drop of knowledge to be and hit that like button. Uh, if you liked it, I'd appreciate it. And with that said, I'm DZ Rocks. Thank you for watching. Peace. When you scared, who's telling you there's nothing to fear? Ain't nothing to fear. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. <laughs> Bitch, I said I'm never gonna. <laughs> Give you up.